Live now up to Pollock Pines and get an update on this massive wildfire that's burning in El Dorado County and threatening thousands of homes. It's burned 89,000 acres, 140 square miles, and containment at 35%. 32 buildings destroyed so far. Crown Force Scott Rates live right now in Pollock Pines with more on the fire. Scott. Mark, overnight, <coughs> firefighters have got a better handle on this fire. That's the good news here. You can see behind me, still a lot of smoldering going on, a lot of smoke behind me on this valley. This is definitely part of the King Fire here. Now, let's go to some video from overnight. Like you mentioned, nearly 90,000 acres now has been burned because of the King Fire. It's 35% contained. It was 18% contained yesterday, so they made a lot of progress overnight, firefighters did. Now, evacuations still remain in effect for about 28 thousand people and 21,000 structures remain threatened from this fire that has been burning for 10 days now. Now, Cal Fire tells me that they did get a little help from the weather yesterday. The, the wind died down and the humidity levels rose. So hopefully we'll see those conditions again today. I can tell you also that Cal Fire held two community meetings for the people that have been evacuated. I spoke to a woman who is one of the 2,800 people who was evacuated out of her house. She was evacuated back on Tuesday. She tells me that she's been staying with friends and she was happy that these meetings were being taken place. Well, after the fact, you know you got your things out. You sit back and you assess when you're down here evacuated about what you grabbed. Was that the important things or was it not? You know, you can take a loss and, and the fire department's doing the best they can and it's been tough. There's a lot of people upset. And speaking of the fire department, I can tell you that over 8,000 firefighters from Florida to Alaska are on the ground out here battling this fire using bulldozers. They also are attacking it from the air. Now that the conditions are clearer out here, they can use more of the aerial attack to try to get this thing under control. But the big concern here is that this thing could spread into the Tahoe National Forest and into the Lake Tahoe area. So hopefully they can get it contained before it does that. Reporting live near Pollock Pines, Scott Rates, Front 4 News. All right, and we'll check back uh, live with Scott for an update a little bit later this morning. All right.